We are the crystal gems. We'll you can't make everything better by singing some songs, but it never hurts. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Steven Universe songs. For this list, we'll be tapping our toes to some of the most emotional, exciting, and downright catchy musical numbers from Rebecca Sugar's hit Cartoon Network franchise. A majority of these tunes will drag you right in the middle of the episode story, so expect spoilers ahead. You can't just make everything better by singing some stupid song! <laughs> Number 10, We Are the Crystal Gems. Kicking off this list is the melody that started it all. When Steven was just starting out as a crystal gem, he wrote a song just for them about how nothing can stop the gems from saving the day. Oh man, I wanna come next time. I even wrote us a song. It's like, if you're, uh, oh, wait, hold on. Hmm. If you're evil and you're on the rise, you can count on the four of us taking you down. Cause we're good and evil never beats us We'll win the fight and then go out for pizzas The full version of the song adds a little extra range to the tune, starting off as an easygoing, charming ukulele piece before eventually exploding into a fast-paced, inspirational number showcasing each of the gem's main motivations. We are the crystal gems this was the perfect pick for the original series theme song and has become one of its staple tunes, along with the soothing original end credits track, Love Like You. When I see the way you act, wondering when I'm coming back, I could do about anything, I could even learn how to love like you. Number 9, Peace and Love on the Planet Earth. Working hard is important, but feeling good is important too. While on a break from working on the drill for the cluster, Steven whips out his ukulele and starts strumming a peppy tune, encouraging Peridot to help him out. Life and death and love and birth and peace in war on the planet Earth. Is there anything that's worth more than peace and love on the planet Earth? Whoa, come on and sing it with me. Sing? The words relate to the key. Key? If it's a pattern, if it's a pattern, then just repeat after me. Peridot doesn't understand the purpose of music, but even she can't resist slowly joining in, symbolizing her coming to terms with her new life on Earth. I guess we're all ready. Fear. I guess we all ready. No. We've all got something to fear. We've all got nowhere to go. I think you're all insane. But I guess I am too. Anybody would be if they were stuck on Earth with you. <laughs> the lyrics are simple and the music isn't really show-stopping, but the song is an endearing little breather from the recent chaos, and it offers all the gems a chance to sing at least once, especially Peridot. Some things don't need a purpose other than to make us feel good, but isn't it worth it for a happy life? Is there anything that's worth more? Is there anything that's worth more than peace and love on the planet Earth? Number 8, Other Friends. Spinel has come back to Earth to ruin Steven's life, and boy does she know how to make an entrance. That's right, I heard the story over and over again. Gee, it's swell to finally meet her other friends. And not just with her injector, but also with an eerie electro jazz number as she effortlessly runs circles around the gems. What did she say about me? What did she say? What did you do without me? What did you do? Did you play games without me? What did you play? Did you think all this time that I wouldn't find out about you? Spinel's rubber hose fighting style blends perfectly with the haunting ragtime music, and the lyrics are just as chilling. They don't even hide the Looney Gem's vindictiveness. She has a massive chip on her shoulder over being abandoned by Steven's mom. Can't say we blame her and she's got no qualms taking it out on Steven and his friends if it means getting even. Spinel's anger is terrifying, but we can't deny that she knows how to terrorize with a little pizzazz. She is swell to finally beat her other, other, other. Number 
Number 7. Comet Whenever Greg shares a flashback of his youth with Steven, he starts the story in song. Some say I have no direction, that I'm a light speed distraction, but that's a knee jerk reaction. For his earliest story, Greg sets the scene with a glam metal jam that has him pouring his heart out about his place in the universe and his musical ambitions. But the moment that I hit the stage, thousands of voices are calling my name. And I know in my heart it's been worth it all of the while. Unfortunately, barely anyone is in the audience to fully appreciate Greg's passionate lyrics, stellar singing, and sick guitar skills. But Greg doesn't care. He's too busy pouring his heart and soul into a pulse-pounding rock number and enjoying every step of the journey. And as the solar wind blows through my hair, knowing I have so much more left to share, a wandering spirit who's carrying its way through the cold atmosphere, I fly like a comet. Little did Greg know that this jam would bring about two major milestones in his life, his well-earned fortune, and his first encounter with the woman he loves, Rose Quartz. Space train to the cosmos. Yeah, one-way ticket and I'm ready to ride. Oh, how will you get back? Back? Back to Earth? I'm never coming back. Number six, do it for her. Pearl is ecstatic to be teaching Connie how to sword fight. And of course, there's only one way to properly train her new ward, through song. And you would do it again. You do it for her, that is to say, you'll do it for him. At first, the song seems peaceful. A gentle melody as Pearl slowly teaches Connie the basics, all based on Rebecca Sugar's own fencing training. Deep down, you know, you weren't built for fighting. But that doesn't mean you're not prepared to try what they don't know is your real advantage when you live for someone you're prepared to die. However, over time, the lyrics become a lot more worrisome, showing the extent of Pearl's devotion to Rose as she tries to mold Connie into the ultimate fighting machine. Keep my stance wide. Good. Keep my body lowered. Right. As I'm moving forward. Concentrate. Don't you want him to live? Right foot. Left foot. Yes, but put your whole body into it. It's almost comical how the slow, tranquil music contradicts the troubling lyrics as we delve deeper into Pearl's psyche. Steven's reaction really sealing the deal throughout the tune. Okay, now do that again. Yes, ma'am. You do it for her, and now you say, I'll do it for him. Number five, Happily Ever After. It's been two years since the events of the original series finale, and now the future is looking bright. Here we are in the future and it's bright. Nothing to fear, no one to fight. I can't believe we've come so far. Happily ever after, here we are. To celebrate the new era of peace, Steven and the Crystal Gems belt out an upbeat ballad while reflecting on their respective pasts. Once upon a time, I only lived to be a thing, time, and service. Till the day the two of us snuck down to be on this planet's surface. We became our fantasy. And I was sure she set me free. Before each sing their own verse where they briefly recollect the obstacles and adversities they've each faced throughout the original series, and how much their trials have helped them grow. Once upon a time I thought I'd always be in my mother's shadow, answering for her crimes I thought I'd always be in an endless battle, till I began to own a power all my own. Not only is this track an energetic, uplifting recap of everything our favorite gems have been through for new viewers, but it also makes the perfect theme song for the epilogue series.
Number four, here comes a thought. To teach Stephen and Connie about confronting their inner demons, Garnet has Stevani join her in a duet of one of the most therapeutic songs in the series. Here comes a thought that might alarm you. What someone say and how it harmed you. Something you did that felt to be charming. The melody is slow and calming, and both Estelle and AJ Mashaka deliver the message beautifully. The tune encourages those suffering from anxiety to take a moment to breathe and confront their turmoil. Being honest and not running away from the issue may be the best way to fully move on. The imagery adds extra beauty to the whole sequence thanks to some creative symbolism and stunning animation, making it all come together into a heartfelt self-help musical number. Take a moment to think of just flexibility, love, and trust. Take a moment to think of just flexibility, love, and trust. Number three, what's the use of feeling blue? <laughs> blue Diamond is still mourning over the loss of pink, but Yellow wants her to start moving past her sadness. In an effort to cheer Blue up, Yellow commands both their pearls to harmonize while she sings a haunting, remorseful tune about how pointless it is to linger on the pain. Why would you want to be here? What do you ever see here? Up until this point, we all assumed that the Diamonds were nothing but malevolent tyrants, but this song painted them in a much more sympathetic light as we see them both struggle with the loss of a loved one on both sides. An army has a use, they can go and fight a war. A sapphire has a use, she can tell you what it's for. Blue refusing to let go of the pain, and Yellow letting her pride stop her from showing her own emotional weaknesses. But now there's nothing we can do, so tell me what's the use of feeling? What's the use of feeling? What's the use of feeling? Number two, Stronger Than You. The Crystal Gems are trapped on a spaceship, Ruby and Sapphire have just fused back into Garnet, and Jasper's looking for a fight. Fusion is just a cheap tactic to make weak gems stronger. Quit embarrassing yourselves. What's Garnet going to do? Kick some quartz butt while singing a fast-paced electro-pop song, of course. This is Garnet, back together. And I'm never going down at the hands of the likes of you because I'm so much better. And every part of me is saying, go get her. The two of us ain't gonna follow your rules. Come at me without any of your fancy tools. Let's go, just me and you. Let's go, just one on two. The battle is definitely a spectacle. The two fighters matching each other blow for blow in a brawl that syncs perfectly with the upbeat tempo, and Estelle bringing her A-game on the microphone. Go ahead and try and hit me if you're able. Can't you see that my relationship is stable? I can see you hate the way we intermingle. But I think you're just mad cause you're single. And you're not gonna stop when we wait together. We are gonna stay like this forever. If you break us apart, we'll just come back you up. And we'll always be twice the gem that you are. Jasper claims that fusion is just a cheap power-up tactic, but Garnet knows better. She is living, breathing proof that love conquers all, especially an angry gem full of hatred, and she embraces this fact in style. Go ahead and try and hit me if you're able. Can't you see that my relationship is stable? I know you think I'm not something you're afraid of. Cause you think that you seen what I'm made of. But I am even more than the two of them. Everything they care about is what I am. I am their fury. I am their patience. I am a conversation. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few musical honorable mentions. That Distant Shore. It all became so lovely Those blue skies above me Those funny feelings I had Never felt before I met you Change your mind. I don't need you to love me, I love me But I want you to know you could know me If you change your mind if you change your mind. Strong in the real way. And I know that we can be strong in the real way. And I want to inspire you. I want to be your rock. And when I talk, it lights a fire in you. True kind of love. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. It's the truth, 
It's the truth. It's the truth. Kind of love. Drift away. Happy to listen. Happy to play. Happily watching her drift away. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. It's over, isn't it? The musical episode Mr. Greg offers a plethora of catchy, memorable musical numbers, from the gentle laid-back Don't Cost Nothing to the emotionally healing both of you. Both love me and I love both of you. But our number one pick from this episode and for this list is Pearl's Tragic Torch Song. I was fine with the men who would come into her life now and again. I was fine cause I knew that they didn't really matter until you. While alone on the balcony, she laments her beloved Rose Quartz. I was fine when you came And we fought like it was all some silly game Over her, who she'd choose After all those years, I never thought I'd lose It's over, isn't it? The two had been through so much for many millennia But Rose fell for Greg over Pearl and now she's gone forever it's no wonder Pearl can't move on. Between the dazzling imagery, Pearl's powerful singing, and the heartbreaking subject of loss and unrequited love, it's impossible to not adore this song. It's over, isn't it? Why can't I move on? It's over, isn't it? Why can't I move on? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.